Welcome to me, Boss Corner. If they have you, Frederick, store me there. Welcome, Frederick. Thank you. I've been uh, looking forward to interview you since you have been here. Thank God I have you today in your free day. We want to ask you a little bit about uh, about how uh, I mean you you come from a very big a bigger clubs and uh, big, very big towns. Can you talk a little bit about yourself? Because there's no uh, there's no many that knows who Frederick Stoll is. Okay, um, I was uh, <clears throat> born in Stockholm, Sweden. 30 years old now. Uh, I started playing in uh, Hammarby. Uh, when I was 12 years old, it's a, a big club in Stockholm. Currently playing in, in the second best league in Sweden, uh, but you got a big, big fan base, new stadium, big games, 30,000 30, sometimes. Um, big derbies in Stockholm against Aiko Yugon. Uh, I moved on uh, from Hammarby to, to Rosenborg when I was 21. Played there for uh, one and a half years, got to experience uh, Champions League. Uh, fantastic. Uh, went to, to Fulham uh, in England, Premiership. Uh, I liked the club very much. Uh, I had a, a good time there, but unfortunately I didn't get to play uh, a lot of games. I played uh, around eight games in two years. I also went on a loan spell in, in Derby County in the Championships, uh, where I played quite a lot at, during the time I was there. Uh, after about two and a half years in England, I uh, wanted to try and get my uh, national team spot back and I uh, moved back to Norway to a club called uh, Volleringen, a big club in Oslo and uh, my time there wasn't the best. I got injured after about eight games, uh, had to have knee surgery and uh, I was in and out of the team for, for that year. Um, I ended up uh, trying to go to Rosenborg after that year uh, again uh, but my knee injury stopped me I couldn't pass the medical and I ended up in uh, Lillestrøm uh, uh, a club uh, about 20 minutes outside of Oslo uh, I played there for for the last two years and uh, I came here now in January that's about sums up my career so far <laughs> if, I w if I ask you uh, uh, what have been your biggest uh, moment in your career? I would probably be uh, the European Championships. Uh, I got to play with Sweden uh, in 2008 in European Championships. Uh, also Champions League. Uh, we played against uh, Chelsea, Valencia, uh, Schalke. Uh, so it was uh, big games, uh, big stadiums and uh, um, yeah, I've I've experienced quite a lot compared to some players, and 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 very little compared to some other players. So I'm I'm in the middle somewhere, I guess. Good to hear, Farag. Farag, uh, you have tried a lot, like you're saying. Now you're in Vibo. What do you think about Vibo and VFF? Uh, I like the club. Uh, it's a smaller club, but the atmosphere is very uh, uh, familiar. Uh, everybody's uh, everybody surrounding the club are, are very friendly and they make you feel welcome uh, when I came here I got injured almost straight away I had to have a uh, knee surgery again which is really hard when you come to a new club uh, at one time I even suggested uh, that if the club wanted to they could could end my contract uh, but uh, they they didn't and I'm very thankful for that and, and I appreciate that very much and that just shows what kind of club Vibor is and, and I appreciate I appreciate that very much. Um, like I said, everybody's been super friendly. That's that's basically it. Like you said that you have been thinking, you know, a lot since your, your injury. You wanted to quit here and stuff like that. Now you have get back into the team. And a, a player like you, you know, with a lot of experience what do you think you can help the team to uh, to this relegation uh, battle that we have now? Well, the the simple answer would be probably experience. Um, but to be be specific about what I can actually do, it's hard to say. Um, but I know the whole the whole club and every every player, no matter if he's on the on the pitch, on the bench, in the stands, if he's injured, everybody wants to stay up. 
and we're working we're working hard towards that and and hopefully we can we can we can keep the club up game on sunday how do you think the game is going to be i think it will be a, a similar um approach to to the game we played on uh, on sunday it's a, it's another game that is so important and and uh, um it's going to be tough but I think we have a good chance of actually winning the game but but you know in football everything changes so fast uh, so we just have to stay focused uh, work hard and, and and really try to to go out there as a team and help each other thank you thank you very much uh, Sto, for your time for us today I really appreciate it so you can hear the player in bus Two or two hundred years for all them the 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 company. So who's going to keep them seen? Also, move up. We have both for your so back in the company. Two hundred years. Tough for the new gang.